Hello everyone! It's time for yet another Warrior Cats challenge. And this time, things are getting weird. We wrote Warrior Cats fanfiction together. I made a post telling you all to each write one sentence of a fanfiction. The only restriction I made was that you were limited to using these seven cats. So I had to go through over 600 completely random comments and try to choose some that could be ordered and read out as a coherent story. And let me just say that it wasn't easy at all. And I spent more time on this than I would like to admit. But still, I did it. And here is the horrifying result. Leafpool went on a walk and found Ashfur. Lionblaze sat in the back, bucket full of popcorn, ready to see the show that would unfold in front of him. Lionblaze bursts in the camp and yells, Jayfeather, I know you're blind, but you got to see this. Leafpool snuggled up with Ashfur and wrapped her tail around him. I want you more than she does, she meowed to the Grey Tom. Lionblaze just stared at Jayfeather with a look of, Dude, why him? He tried to murder us. Leafpool gave Ashfur a good lick. I have several questions, said Jayfeather. Meanwhile, Holyleaf ran into camp screeching in triumph because she had finally managed to write the entire warrior code on the beach. Holyleaf gave a look to camp, then turned. She was going hunting. There was a strange feeling, an uneasiness she couldn't shake. Holyleaf forgot the oven was on in the tunnels. Holyleaf glared at Jayfeather, then... Holyleaf looked at Ashfur. His deep blue eyes pierced into her soul. Holyleaf froze, flashbacks from the fire dancing through her head. What was he thinking? Holyleaf frowned and poked out her tongue in a blip. Lionblaze whispered to Jayfeather, Is she going through adolescence? Pointing at Holyleaf. Jayfeather turned on Lionblaze. Holyleaf isn't special. Jayfeather glared at Lionblaze. However, he was glaring at a rock. Leafpool stared at Jayfeather as he tried to eat a rock. Jayfeather looked at Lionblaze and said, Lionblaze, no one wants to read your chapters. And he walked away. Lionblaze cringed, thinking about all the useless chapters that the writers wrote about him. The bushes next to Hollyleaf began to move. Squirrel Flight punched Ashfur in the face. Then, at that moment, Leafpool answered, What? Leafpool sat next to Squirrel Flight and gave her sister a worried look when Squirrel Flight started crying. Leafpool looked at Squirrel Flight, silently judging her. You need help, she said. Squirrel Flight seemed to shrink beneath Ashfur's hatred filled gaze. Squirrel Flight looked into Ashfur's eyes. What about Brambleclaw? she whispered. Lion Blaze, where in Star Clan's name did Brambleclaw go? Jayfeather asked hesitantly. Brambleclaw sat perched in the tree, and when Squirrel Flight walked below him, he jumped down and screeched, Yeet! Brambleclaw looked at Squirrel Flight with disgust. Then, Brambleclaw sighed, turning to Leafpool. Leafpool, I've always loved you, he mewed. Leafpool's legs shook. Brambleclaw! Brambleclaw and Ashfur looked back at Squirrel Flight, expressions of embarrassment plastered on their faces. Ashfur then slapped Leafpool in the face. Ashfur turned towards Brambleclaw. Brambleclaw, I loved you. I was always jealous that you chose Squirrel Flight over me. Brambleclaw stared at Ashfur and felt his face grow hot as he imagined himself lying close to him, their tails intertwining. But Brambleclaw, Ashfur stared at the dark tabby tom in front of him, blushing as he talked in a murmur, getting down on one knee. Will... Will you marry me and make me the happiest Tom in the forest? Squirrel Flight ran at Ashfur. You leave Brambley alone! Squirrel Flight ran to Brambleclaw as fast as she could, trying to save him from the fire. Jayfeather blinked, unable to comprehend the chaos and drama before him. What in the name of Star Clan is even happening right now? He muttered quietly to no one in particular. Leafpool wiped her tears from the unforgettable experience. You lied to me? Ashfur yeeted himself into Leafpool, screeching, You can't want the squirrel X bramble ship! Then Ashfur said, Leafpool, I love you. Nope, goodbye, said Leafpool as she flopped away. 
Leafpool shouted, Ashford, you're acting like a nice guy. Ashford looked at Brambleclaw and said, I mean, she's not wrong. Ashford tipped his fedora to Leafpool. Crowfeather would have never treated me like this. Huffed Leafpool under her breath, shuffling herbs nervously. Ashford walked away, muttering about how his friends on Reddit would hear about this. Ashford tipped his fedora and said, Milady, to Squirrel Flight. And then Squirrel Flight spontaneously combusted. So, that concludes the beautiful fanfic that we made. What an emotional ending. I'd say that this is pretty solid evidence that the Warrior Cats map format should definitely be used for fanfiction. And thanks to Voice My Opinion for doing Squirrel Flight and Leaf Pool's voice. Anyways, I do have a new challenge for you all. I want you to leave one piece of criticism for the Warriors books. But here's the catch. The criticism should be super nitpicky and unnecessary. Leave your answers in the comments.